Hello, my deepest companions. My name is President Nikki. President Nikki on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, PresidentNikki.com, Patreon.com, slash President Nikki, here on my YouTube channel, my merch, and my wish list is linked down below. I hope you're having just the most amazing day ever. We are in my bed. Congrats, you thought you'd never get here, and here you are. Um, today, we are reading Ask Men of Reddit. Are you excited? It's an Instagram um, page, literally just uh, Ask Men Reddit. Um, all credits to them, these are all their posts. Um, I'm just gonna read you some, some I find funny, some interesting ones, and yeah, we're just gonna have some goofs, some gaffs, some laughs, and have a good time. Um, it's interesting because I do identify as a woman, so it's like I'm getting the inside scoop, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is a good one. You ready? People who are 40 plus and happy with their life, what is your advice to people in their 20s? As you know, I'm 20 years old, so love this. Except that perfection doesn't exist. Your car will break down. Damn. That's the most heartbreaking. Um, pay attention to your diet or health. Don't stop doing things you love. That's cute. Relax more. Gosh, I really wish I could. I've been trying. It doesn't work out that well. Didn't marry your perfect spouse. That person doesn't exist. That's scary to me. Uh, everyone's focused on themselves to care about their opinion of you. I, I understand this a lot. Um, however, being like a public figure, people do care what you're doing and people are interested and people will comment on it. So it's hard to be like, oh, stop like thinking about it. Like no one's actually looking at you that hard. They are, like they are. Like I get hundreds of comments every single day judging me and commenting on me and like following me you know and you think about it like following is such like a weird term you know like oh this person is following you like they see what you do every single day like they do see it you know um social media is an illusion i agree a lot of this is just like exercising and oh take care of your teeth is a good one i'm gonna do that more stop comparing yourself to others yeah so that was that one <laughs> what's actualized that doesn't need to be the number 69 that one's funny i'm a teacher every day is a minefield oof stepsister i agree i think that's weird um eating bananas i just want to eat a banana on my lunch break i feel that it was the worst in middle school you would not imagine the, the word common normal, I try to use it instead of like, I used to use arrive instead. The green M&M, hot take, the green M&M, absolutely. Uh, and then this one's interesting. Women, it's not oh, just please don't, t male romantic affection is over sexualized. It's like, instead of saying, I wanna be with you for the rest of my life, it's like, I just wanna fuck you, you know? Cute. Oh, what is the most intimate things in a relationship that's not sexual? <laughs> she grabs my butt in her sleep. I mean, I guess that's kind of sexual. Um, when you lock eyes across the room when something funny happens. I used to love doing that. I'm also single, so like, kind of heartbreaking. Just venting to each other. I love that. Getting close to each other's sense of humor. Oh, this is such a good, such a good thread women have read it what do men do that confuse you you ready that they can have friends they've known for years but not know any basic info trying to impress women by doing things that only impress other men that's like the gym and stuff sigma beta oh my god that's just zodiac signs for men put their clothes beside the hamper i do that I do that all the time. They love loud m noises. I also think that's weird, like cars and stuff. Seriously, what are you supposed to say right after sex? <laughs> Enjoy the silence. On a scale of one to 10, how likely are you to recommend noise services to a friend? Once I went to my boyfriend's, I shake my boyfriend's hands and he says, no, I will not shake your hand. <laughs> Good game, GG. Thanks for coming. Wow. Interesting. I ten. I was thinking about this the other night. I this is way too personal information. I snap out of it like right when it's done. I'm like, "How you doing? What you think about?" Like I just immediately switch. Like it's not this like long sensual like after. Like I'm simply just myself 
again. I guess I like stopped being quirky during, I don't know, but I'm a quirky gal, as you can probably tell. Um, whoopsie daisies. Also, I started back sertraline um, today. I don't know if it's helping, but it seems that I'm not laying in bed still. Now I'm sitting in bed. Let's keep going. Couples who have moved in together, what surprised you most about living with a male female? I thought if I, oh, I've read this one. I thought if I ever moved in with a girl, I'd have to be way less of like a mess. Turns out I'm the neat one. I understand this kind of, except I'm the neat one. I'm like, I need everything. Like I'm messy, like obviously, but like, not like messy, but I will like have a freak out every two days and have to have the whole house clean. So yeah, that may have ended a few things in places. Um, whoops. Um, that your partner may follow you around the house just because. That sounds so cute. Like, if I had a roommate, I probably would go into the room and bug them. How often I'd be helping them find their car keys. I don't lose my keys often. Knock on wood. Um, I really don't. I put it in the same place every time or on my charger. The hair gets everywhere. Oh, I get that. It's everywhere in my apartment. The decorative pillows. His ab this is this is it. His ability to do nothing. He can lay on the couch and stare at the ceiling and do nothing. I I also have many mental illnesses, including ADD. I cannot just sit somewhere and sit still. Even like so sorry. Even like sitting still and thinking, it just doesn't work. I need to be occupied, I need to be doing something, I need to be moving, you know? Also, I think I pulled a muscle in my sleep. How do I do that? I don't know. <laughs> Sitting in the passenger seat and just staring at the roads, not saying anything. Yeah, I mean, obviously you have to do that during like really long car rides, but it's super awkward. It's like, why are you so quiet? Are you upset? What's wrong? I feel that. Happy Oh my gosh. After living with him for four years, I opened a drawer of his dresser and it was empty. All of it. Apparently he thought it was my extra dresser. He doesn't use a dresser. Clothes get washed and put into the clean clothes hamper. He puts socks and underwear in his bedside table. I mean, why are you not hanging your clothes though? I mean, I don't hang all my clothes obviously, but like, interesting. We're gonna do this one. Looking back at your past relationships, how have you been a shitty boyfriend? One thing, one of the things she told me after we broke up was that dating me felt like being a mother. That's the biggest thing. Um, I would refuse to lose an argument. Oh my goodness, that's a hard. I mean, I deal with that too, but it's very difficult. I often like, I'm scared because I feel like if I lose the argument, like they're mad at me, you know? But I feel like if I'm right, they're not mad at me because they're like, oh, I understand now. Um, I was codependent. Uh, pretty common. I had a really hard time saying I love you. That's interesting. Very wild. I was a coercive, entitled prick at my girlfriend's high school. I was dismissive, rude, and manipulated. I felt that they owed me things for my attention and then got angry when they didn't give me those things. Holy crap. That's insane. I was like, why is my mouth a different color? I just had a, I had one sip of a Gatorade. One. Okay, this is, this is gonna be good for us. What is a valuable lesson you learned when breaking up with your ex? The person who wants the relationship the least has the most power. Oh, that's so freaking true. Ugh, I wish I could, I mean, I can't. I really don't want to talk about my dating life because it sucks and there's not much of it, but. Yeah, I'm not going to go into it. Um, but it's gonna get better. Life is good. Life will get better. Um, there's a possibility that you are the problem. That's understandable. Don't waste too much time on a relationship where it doesn't go both ways. I felt that. Don't ever settle as someone's second choice or backup plan. That's a hard one too. 
My first ex wanted to keep our relationship secret. That one can break up people so quickly. I remember in middle school, I'd be like, oh, like I don't wanna tell my parents because like I wasn't allowed to date. And then I'd be like, and it'd be really hard. Um, you can't convince someone to keep loving you. Cry, tears. When it's an abusive relationship, closure is not necessary. Yeah, just pack up and leave. It's hard, especially if it's mental abuse, that's super hard. Cause like, you almost feel invalidated when it's mental abuse. You're like, oh, but he never hit me. Like, oh, but he still did a lot of shitty things. Like, it's actually happening to me. Not happening to me right now, but it has happened to me in the past year. Uh, register your dog in your name. Oh my goodness. I almost got a cat with my ex. That would have been absolutely tragic. Like two months before we broke up. Just because you're really, really good with someone of the opposite sex doesn't mean you should date them. Yeah. You could lose an awesome friendship. I make a lot of mistakes, I'm human. I've done a lot of bad things. Not a lot of bad things. A lot of bad things dating wise. Like I'm super young and I and like as it said, like sometimes you are the problem. Like obviously, like I would get really not possessive, but I get jealous really easy. And I'm like, oh, like, why are you, like, why won't you hang out with me? Like, do you not like me? And they're like, no, well, like, I have, like, I, like, I don't know. I just, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten so better, though. I've gotten way, way better. And I'm super proud of myself for that. <laughs> what is the hardest general rated insult you've ever received? Like, G for everyone. G? G for general audiences. Your life is more about regret management than goal achievement, isn't it? Oh. You're less a person and more a loose collection of personality flaws. Oh. It's impossible to underestimate you. Oh, wow, I expected nothing and I am still disappointed. I was pressed during, oh, sorry, I didn't like that one. <laughs> no, all right, let's do one more. This is a good one. What are some stereotypically feminine things you think it should be more acceptable for men to do? Use umbrellas is my first one. Not reading any of the other ones, I think use umbrellas. Um, they need paternity leave, I absolutely agree. 100%. Moisturize, oh absolutely. And use sunscreen. I'm looking at you guys, I wanna save you. Ugh, save your complex. Ugh, buy and cut flowers, that's so nice. Complimenting other men. I totally agree with that. <laughs> Their comment under that one is like, I like the way your looks in those pants, bro. Um, I like being the little spoon. I don't care. Fight me. That's cute. Take bubble baths. Yes. Allowing themselves to be emotional and cry. Only a true man is willing to be able to cry. Go to yoga classes. That's super cool. I feel like that's also like the place to meet women, like go to yoga classes. Wear colorful clothes, yes. I love when a man wears colorful clothes. All right, that's been Ask the Men of Reddit. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm so happy that you stayed to the end with me. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Please, 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 and ring that bell button. It would mean the world to me, and I can't wait to see you on the next one.